my channel so today I thought I would do another video in my what's in my series it's basically just a series of videos where I share with you all different kinds of what's in like what's in my handbag what's in my fridge anything else that you suggest I kind of tend to just share with you what's in I think I'm gonna do like a what's in my closet tour and actually go through the brands and things that I own and today I'm doing a what's in my travel makeup bag because I've recently been away and I haven't unpacked it yet so I thought why not go ahead and share with you all the products that I take with me while I am traveling and I will have a link to the what's in my series playlist in the description if you're interested in some of the other things like my phone and what else did I do? My, sh my shower, stuff like that. So yeah, let's get started. So this little guy is my makeup bag. I am in love. If you've been around on my channel for a long time, then you will have seen this plenty of times before. I got this just over two years ago for 2013 Christmas as a gift, and I am so in love with it. As you can tell, it is gray because my favorite color is gray. My nails, my shirt, everything is just gray. I love gray. My bed's gray. The thing I'm sitting on is gray. Everything is gray, that candle's gray. I love gray. Okay, I think we've established that I love gray. Anyways, um, it is an adorable little gray bag with this sort of soft pink bow and then it has rose gold little metal detailing here in the center. It has a rose gold zip and it is from Ted Baker. I love Ted Baker, such amazing products. It's one of my favorite sort of higher end brands because these are not cheap at all. I think this little bag was like $60 from David Jones. So I have like the full set. I have a medium bag and a large bag as well. I take the large bag with me as like carry on luggage sometimes or just with me wherever I am. But it's such an amazing set and I love it. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Also, it's a tiny bag because I don't like taking lots of makeup, which is really, really good. So starting, I have some false eyelashes. I am an obsessor of eyelashes. I do not like going without them. So these are some new ones. Actually, I've only tried these on. I haven't worn them. And these are my Model Rock lashes. These are number 266. And I purchased these with Sinead yesterday, so that's why they're in here, because I stayed at Sinead's all weekend, and then I was in Brisbane before that, so I haven't unpacked it. Next up, I have a liquid lipstick. So this is the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in Backy, and it's actually what I'm wearing right now, and I love it. The color it's just me. I love this color. I love these purpley toned nudes and it is such a great lipstick. Like it lasts very, very long and it doesn't go dry and crackly either. Next, I have a new foundation. I purchased this in the Priceline sale last week or the week before. This is the Astralis O2 Glow Foundation. Um, this is really, really amazing. I'm wearing it right now. It is a very neutral tone, sort of a beigey tone. It almost pulls a bit pink sometimes, but I feel that I can just pull it in and wear it with my fake tan even though I'm Wow, I'm red. Am I red? I think I'm red. It's probably because it's really hot and my hair is like keeping me warm. Anywho, um, I find that my tan goes a little bit on the yellow side, but somehow it just manages to work whatever color my skin is going to be that day. And it lasts really well. Like wearing it all day, it just seems to sit really well compared to a lot of my other foundations and it's so cheap. So it's always a good one. I have a professional primer, which to be honest, I barely ever use, but I take it with me just in case. I have an Astralis uh, banana powder. Got this in the sale as well. Um, it's quite good. It's a little bit heavy compared to my Anastasia one, but I do like it. I have my IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer and my Hello Highlight Duo. Amazing. I love it. I use this concealer to cover up everything. This concealer is such, like, so full coverage. And I love that the, um, this thing, the highlight is really nice and bright as well, which is awesome. Honest to God, guys, I don't think I should be filming today. Like, I am so spaced out that I'm not even sure this video is going to make sense. So forgive me, please. Next, I have another highlight. This is the Rimmel Match Perfection um, highlight in the color. I think it is an ivory, so it's a really light concealer. But seriously, I have used this in about two weeks. So I'm probably not going to get that again because it just, you don't get a lot of uses out of it. Whereas the IT Cosmetics one will last me like four or five months. So yeah. Next, I have an Astralis Fresh and Flawless Press Powder. This one is in Deep Natural, but it is quite light for my skin, so I will use this just to add some coverage, you know, powder up my face, and then I will use some uh, bronzer over the top, but it's quite good for when I'm not tanned as well. Um, if you can't tell, I really like Astralis. Half the stuff in here have been from Astralis. Uh, the next thing is from Becca. This is my Moonstone highlight. There are a few dents in here, and I am terrified that I'm going to destroy this because I did drop it when I was in Brisbane, and it's just, it's I've had it for like two weeks and it is just worse for wear. It is not good, so 
Fingers crossed I can stop being so clumsy and I will save it and it won't die. Next I have a new blush. This also got in the sale. Um, this is from Bourgeois and this is uh, Jasper Rose and this is number 95 and it's a really nice color. I am wearing it right now. I'm very tempted to just go a bit crazy on the makeup and just put it on my face. But I really quite like this. The smell of the Bourgeois blushes is just so floral and very intense, but I quite like it. Um, I have two mascaras because I use this one for the bottom lashes and this is the Maybelline Lash Sensational. I just really struggle to say this. Great curved one for the bottom lashes. And then I also have the Maybelline Colossal Go Extreme Mascara for the top, which is quite nice. Um, they're not really my favorites, I'm just using them because I have them. I also have another Stila Liquid Lipstick. This is Chianti and it's a very dark color. I have worn this in a video before. I haven't worn it any time recently. I feel like it's something I will probably move towards a little bit more when it gets to winter. I also have a 1000 hour lash glue because the applicator on this is really, really good and it like makes your lashes stick very, very well. Um, I also have a Models Prefer Black Pencil Liner. This one is called Black Cat. It is amazing. I love the Models Prefer liners. They're so creamy. I also have an Astralis Liquid Eyeliner. I haven't opened yet because I want to try and move into some brands that are vegan um, and try and phase out the ones like this one. This is the Maybelline Hyper Sharp uh, Winged Liner. This is like the best eyeliner I have ever used in my life. So it is very hard to try and find an alternative that is just as good that is vegan, but I'm trying. And then I also have a Models Prefer Infinite Lip Color, which is actually just a clear lip liner. Purchased it in the sale as well. Probably a really dumb purchase. I feel like it does nothing. Um, I also purchased a purple one in the sale. I kind of always just take my newest purple, I mean my newest purple, my newest things with me when I go traveling. So I just have the purple eyeliner. I wore that one night when I was out and looked really nice. I also have a Sigma brow pencil. This one is in, I don't know. It doesn't say what color. Is there a color? I don't know. It's a little bit like brown colored, I guess. Really, really nice pencil for every day when I don't want to do like my full, um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade because this stuff is very, very intense. I have it in Dark Chocolate, which is a beautiful color. It is the right tone, but it is a little bit too dark for me. So I have to be careful. But to be honest, I like my brows like this. I like the way that they are. Like, I kind of like that drawn on effect. So, yeah. Um, I also have my two new Astralis Metallics eyeshadows. So I am wearing the ready, I know not ready, the pinky one right now, which is Guns and Rose Petals, and then the gold one is Pearl Jam, and there is another gold gold one, but this one's pretty gold on its own, and I've been wearing these quite a lot since I got them, which is fun. And then the last, well, I actually have two things in here, and I don't know why this ring is in here. I have um, a Pandora ring in here. So this is my little Pandora ring. It's got like an opal in the top of it. It's a very beautiful little ring. Don't know why it's in there. I must have thrown it in there for keep safe. And then I also have my Maybelline uh, 220 uh, Matte and Poreless Fit Me Foundation. But again, trying to switch out this one for this one so that I can start using a cruelty-free brand. And I actually really, really love this Estrella's one. So I think I have a new really cheap drugstore foundation. So. So yeah, that is everything that is in my little Ted Baker bag, but you're probably wondering about brushes and palettes and I am like total ghetto. I literally just throw everything in a Ziploc bag when I'm traveling. All of my uh, toiletries, everything just goes into Ziploc bags except for my makeup because it's easy and they like squish better into a suitcase. So I have um, a couple of brushes here. I have my, this bag is filthy. This bag is disgusting. I need to brush my brushes, but I have a, a few different ones. So I have some makeup weapons ones here, which I'll have a link to them in the description. These are my newest brushes and I really, really like them. Um, there's another little one from them. I also have a Real Techniques one because this is just my favorite Real Techniques, Real Techniques one. Um, another makeup weapons one. These brushes are so beautiful. And then I also have my old Crush Cosmetics powder brush and a couple of the Crush Cosmetics ones in there. I also have a Sigma one in there as well. Um, but yeah, so the makeup weapons ones are my new ones and I am doing a terrible job at storing them well. Sorry. And then for palettes which actually just go in with my brushes as well, I have my Lorac Mega Pro palette which I take everywhere with me because it's a beautiful palette with lots of different colors. I've totally smashed the Indigo one, didn't mean to, it was an accident. But it's got amazing, if you can tell, I've got a good dent in these three here. 
They are my favorite colors. I think when I go to like make myself a custom palette, which I really want to do, I'm going to have like these types of colors and I really, really love the orangey tones just because I have blue eyes and orange tones go so well with blue eyes. I've also been kind of carrying around my Urban Decay Naked One palette as well. Love this palette. It's like a classic. I feel like everyone has this. It's just a good classic palette. And then of course, the love of my life, my contour kit from Anastasia. I love it. I just love it. It is such a great kit. Um, this bronzer in the middle here is the one that I used to contour and this one this really sort of warm toned one on the end is how I kind of warm up my face and bronze once I've gone over with my Stralis powder which is way way too light. So my bed is now covered in makeup which I'm hoping nothing stains my white covers and that's everything that is in my travel makeup kit. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you have and subscribe if you're new and I will see you in my next video. Bye!